Hello everyone. Today we are unboxing the Hot Toys Spider-Man Far From Home homemade suit. First of all, let's talk about the box art. The external part includes a translucent film and in the inside you can see a window opening and also Mysterio himself. And without further ado, let's get it opened and see what is inside in this box. This time it comes with two layers. The upper layer includes three pairs of hand and also the backdrop. At the lower layer, there is Spider-Man and also the drone and also some other accessories. And of course, the first thing I'm going to take out is the Spider-Man himself. And let's take a closer look later on. And second, of course, I'm going to take out the drone. And also, we are going to take a closer look later on on this drone. But I have to say that the details on the drone is amazing, including the better damage and the paint. And now this is Spider-Man coming out straight from the box without any dynamic pose or any crazy thing like that. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this backdrop. And for that part, I don't think I'm going to put it on display. And here are the rest of the accessories. And now let's take a closer look at the drone. It is that good that I have to repeat myself that the paint application and also the detail is amazing. I'm sure Hot Toys has placed a lot of attention and also effort in creating this drone. I believe the details on this drone is even better than the Spidey itself. As you can see here, even the bottom of the drone is having a lot of great details. And I have seen on the comments in Facebook group that they are buying this Spider-Man purely because of the drone. And this is actually the second time Hot Toys released it, the homemade suit from Spider-Man. The first one is coming from the first Spider-Man movie, Homecoming. But that box didn't come with a drone, but instead it comes with a better damaged head sculpt. So in this release, it is basically a part of a rerun from the first Spider-Man homemade suit. For those collectors who missed the first one, like myself. And in this release, Hot Toys has introduced it an improvement with the magnetic interchangeable eyes. And now, changing the eyes is becoming so easy. Just like so. And in fact, this is the Spider-Man that can do most of the dynamic poses that other Spider-Man figures cannot. Thanks to the relatively loose casual suit. And just a kind reminder, I see some people is placing the drone at the top of the stand. But in fact, you can push down the drone at the bottom of the stand so that you can put the figure clip at the top. And to put the Spidey on top of the drone like what I'm doing here now. Here is my favorite pose, inspired by the official photos from Hot Toys. And now I no longer need to worry about having any crack on the suit. The next step I'm going to do is to buy a third party head sculpt with better damage. And then I'm just going to put it on this figure. I see some comments on the internet like Facebook group is saying this is the best Spider-Man to play with, while the other versions are better for displaying. What do you think? Are you going to get this Spider-Man homemade suit for playing around and doing different poses? Let me know in the comment section below. For me, I think this is the best Spider-Man to do all sorts of extreme poses. Alright, that's it for this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.